Hello guys, how are you doing? I hope everything is going perfectly with you. Um, so today I made uh, this video to talk to you about my experience during the MBDA exam part 1 and 2. I'm gonna actually start talking about part 2 since I've recently finished the exam and I think my information are still kind of fresh. Uh, I really hope that I could be helpful for you guys and I wish you guys all the best of luck and I hope that you would all pass the exam. Now before we get started, I'd like to mention something. Uh, I'd like to tell you that the exam is kind of tricky and it is not tricky in a difficult way. Most of the people that are taking the exam are postgraduate dentists that they have enough information of everything that they are going to study. However, it requires a lot of study, it requires a lot of effort, a lot of time in order to pass this exam because at the end you need to remember everything regarding your study, especially if you're fresh graduated. This exam is really good if you are freshly graduated. It just will refresh everything you already knew. And I think it's an important exam. Now, uh, the first thing that you need to study for this particular exam is Daniel Deck. Now, Daniel Deck is actually a card. They have a question on the front page and then they would have uh some explanation on the back page they are really good and they are really beneficial and you would have to repeat them more than once like you would have to repeat them multiple times three or four times but they have one problem um the problem with daniel deck i don't know if you have uh noticed that but when you finish them you don't feel satisfied about your study you don't feel that you have uh the confidence to go and take the exam you don't feel either ways now it is really important to have confidence in yourself that you know what you're studying is good and the material is enough for the exam Daniel Deck doesn't give you that because the material is not enough for you to pass the exam uh, for one thing it doesn't connect the information for example uh, on one page and uh, regarding the period surgery on one card it will start talking about um, let's say Whitman flap and then on the other card it will talk about gingivectomy now it will not give you categorization for the periodontal surgery or it wouldn't tell you that there are two types there is the flap surgery and there is the non flap surgery it doesn't give you a background information it doesn't connect the information between the cards in this way the student will feel lost will feel confused and will probably have hard time remembering the information because there is no connection between them so my advice for you guys I have did this and it really helped me a lot especially that the question and the questions doesn't come directly from uh, the cards but they actually come from your own understanding from your own knowledge therefore you have to have a background information in order to make sure that you will be able to answer whatever question will come in the exam uh, as long as you understand the question and you understand uh, you do not memorize the information but rather than that you understand everything about this information so my advice is that you study uh whatever book you decide along with Daniel Deck now uh f there are a variety of books that you could study there is a first aid there is a uh, Kaplan and for me I've read so many reviews regarding Mosby's and I've Mosby's MBDE and I think Mosby is the best I really liked it uh, for one thing it has a really simple language and uh, I could understand it easily and it just it has back a good background information good schedules good categorization of almost everything that I needed to know so once I read Mosby along with Daniel Deck I felt that I am more satisfied I felt that I have uh, a good uh, a grab of all the information that I have I feel that a uh, good grasp of all of the information that I have I feel that I do have the confidence enough to get me through the exam now uh, if you want to read Mosby and I really recommend that you do not have to read everything in details the only thing that you need to know for example if you're studying period surgery you would have to take the book and read period surgery in the book and then read them and memorize them on the cards in this way you will have a general idea regarding the topic you will have a background information you will have so many info uh, so much information and then when you study the cards and memorize them it will become more easily it will become like 
more easy for you to understand them just because you have a background information and you have everything that is required to memorize information and to understand them at the same time so i really recommend to read mosby uh especially for the pharmacology section because they have a uh, good categorization of everything good schedules for everything like i don't mean you have to study drugs in details in mosby but you have to know the type of antibiotic and um for example those that affect the cell wall those that affect the dna you know you have to connect the information together and mosby really help you doing that uh the other thing that is really important in mosby is dental management now dental management is actually not enough in uh dental deck it's not enough you have to study them in details in uh mosby just because uh there are so much uh about insurance and there are so much about health services that are not mentioned on those cards therefore it is really important to study uh dental management in mosby it's really easy uh, i know that it, the pages seems really difficult to study but it's really easy uh most of the talk are just like you don't have to memorize it all but I think it's really important to focus on dental management in Mosby along with the cards and regarding everything else you would have to take background information and connect the information in Mosby. Now uh, let's go to the second thing that you would have to study for this particular exam which is this. Now this is like this is the heaven for this particular exam. It's the American Student Dental Association question and answer release. Uh, they're actually a real exam that are released by the American Dental Association questions of previous years, mostly 80s. Uh, my book had about uh, 3000 questions. It also had has many cases for the uh, day two. Now, uh, this book is like is really important i cannot emphasize how important it is you do not have to study it once you will have to study it like three or four times just to make sure that you memorize the question really well because i think 20 percent of the questions will actually come in the exam so they are really important for you and they are really good they just make you understand more about the topic and understand what will the exam focus on mostly um because you're going to study a lot of things and you need to know uh, how the questions will come and what will they focus on. Uh, there are so many questions that are out of the blue. You could either memorize them because they may come in the exam or you could just ignore them. Uh, there is also something else. You don't have like you don't have to read the 3000 questions if you don't have time. But you do have to read like if you decide to read 1000, you do have to repeat these 1000 multiple times just to make sure you don't forget them because when they come in the exam and you just like you forgot the question but you remember that you you have read it you will really feel frustrated and it happened to me so i really recommend that you guys study it well before taking the exam so uh i've mentioned how pharmacology is important in this exam and how dental management is important but uh dental management is enough in mosby and dental deck but uh pharmacology is not enough there is something that is called pharmacology tufts it is actually a booklet that is only 45 uh, 49 pages actually uh it has questions and answer and it has a short summary after each six or five questions now uh this is really important because it's not just gives you what the quest uh, how the questions will come or what will they focus on but it will give you a summary uh to understand like um for example if it's talking about the local anesthetic solutions and if it's talking about the ester type and the mi type it will give you questions regarding that so you when you're studying then and deck you would know that these are the kind of questions that will come it's really important it will not take a lot of your time uh, i think if you have studied dental deck in uh pharmacology in dental deck it will only require let's say um, two days from you you could also finish it in one day it's really easy it doesn't take a lot of time and it's really important now uh the fourth thing that you would have to study this is actually something that i have done uh it's not that essential you don't have to do it if you don't have time but if you do have time I really prefer you do it which is reading notes now notes are actually summary that are written by a clever student 
uh, they're important because of mainly one thing. Now, when you study, um, like when you study for MBDE part two, there would be a lot of information to memorize. Sometimes you will feel lost and sometimes you would feel that you cannot memorize all of this information. Now, notes are important because they make sure you didn't forget any of the important information. They have a summary of everything, so you could focus on the important things and you could make sure that you didn't forget any of the important things in the exam. Uh, because uh, on the cards, you may like you may have uh, spent so much time on those cards and you may have focused on things that are less important than the main idea. So uh, those notes really make sure that you focus on the main ideas. Now I got these from my friend, but you could get them anywhere. There are like a million Facebook, uh, Facebook page with uh, that is called MBDE part two. They do have notes on their files. So you could like, you could choose whatever you want and you could uh, download it. I'm not sure if this is available on the Amazon or not. I didn't check, but I think they are available on Facebook. Now, uh, before heading to part two, I just want to mention that uh, regarding pathology, I just have a small advice for you guys. Uh, there will be a booklet that will come with down deck that has um, pictures regarding the uh, cases or the legions or whatever. Uh, but I uh, I recommend that you guys also look online in the internet for any other picture. For example, let's say that amelogenesis imperfecta is not mentioned uh, on the cards. Uh, I mean, in this booklet, it is mentioned. But I'm I'm saying is that if it's not mentioned, you should look for it online and Google it and uh, see multiple cases or multiple pictures of uh, amelogenesis imperfecta just to make sure that you uh, remember the picture and uh, this will make the information to stick in your brain and you will never forget them. Uh, it will also prepare you for day two in a better way. Even if you're studying an x-ray of a dentinal dysplasia and uh, this, this book like doesn't contain dentinal dysplasia, then you should look for it on the internet. Uh, as I mentioned, it will prepare you for day two and it is a good opportunity for you to remember everything and make sure that you wouldn't forget any of the information. Uh, this is really important because there is nothing to study for day two. So if you do not study pathology in this way, you will have a hard time preparing for day two. Uh, also, before heading to day two, or actually, let's just head to day two. Now, day two. Um, for day two, there isn't much to study. Now, uh, the American Student Dental Association book that I have just showed you guys usually have multiple cases. It's not enough. Uh, the cards do have this small booklet that also has some cases, but also it's not enough. Usually they too depends on your own experience, on your own um, knowledge, on what you have did in your clinic or someone else's clinic. Now, but there is something that could help you and I think it helped me a lot, which is uh, this is actually a website that is called, I'll put a link below for it. It is called the Crack the MBDE. Now, Crack the MBDE is actually an online exam. I'm sure you all know it. It is an online exam that you purchase it for an amount of money. And then you could take both day one and day two exam. Now, for day two exam, I thought that the questions were really similar to the one that have come to in the exam. Uh, I thought that they were good. They will show you either an x-ray image and ask you to uh, specify something or they would show you a picture of a lesion and then they would ask you to show, um, to tell uh, what this lesion is. So uh, I think crack the MBDE day two. It gives you, I think, three packages of questions or something like that. Uh, three packages of exams, I mean, and it really helps you prepare, prepare for day two because I, as I have mentioned, you do not have something to prepare for this uh, day. So I think uh, crack the MBDE is a good opportunity for you. Now for day one, I would say uh, crack the MBDE is a waste of time uh, and a waste of money as well because it will give you a question that are out of the blue. They will not come in the exam. They are really hard, confusing, and you will feel that you are, you do not like, uh, once I finished them, I felt that I don't have confidence to go and take the exam just because I couldn't um, 
solve any of these questions but they are really hard and they are not related to the exam um i think that you should just ignore them and not take day one and focus on day day two uh mainly on crack the mbd uh just to repeat all the information that i have gave you to make sure that you remember everything first we have Daniel deck that you need to study along with mosby or along with any book a book will actually give you a general idea background information and will connect the information for you so it is a good thing to study them you will have to study the question and answer that are released you will have to repeat them multiple times you will have to study tufts uh, pharmacology you will have to study dental management in mosby uh notes is actually optional for you you may study them you may just ignore them uh you also have day two which is the crack the mbde the booklets that you have and looking through the internet and some online pictures uh i hope this video was good for you guys and i wish you all the best of luck and i wish that you all would pass the exam uh if you need anything regarding this exam please leave me a comment below and i will try to uh answer all of you guys thank you so much for watching